Very good question. Now the question of tolerance of Ramadan. How tolerant should we be of children in the masajid, especially during the month of Ramadan? And the brother put it so eloquently, some places don't allow children to come to the masjid in the month of Ramadan, including where we are right now. Allahu alam why they do this. But from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, either Al-Hasan wal Hussein, they used to come to the masjid and there were children at that time in the masjid. Now many people will quote these different examples of Hassan and Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhuma how they'll climb on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam while he's in sujood and they would not get off from sujood until they got down. However, this or these actions of Hassan and Hussein were they a distraction to the salah or the musallim? They were not. It was with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I've not yet read where the women, sorry, the children were such a distraction. Children, I'm not talking about babies, that they were just causing a distraction. The Sahaba and whom felt discomforted. I've never heard such a thing. The only thing I've heard or read in terms of babies is that sometimes the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam will hear a baby crying, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam will do what? Will shorten the salah. So there were babies. Children, babies did cry. So therefore, if a mother wants to come for qiyam, let her come, come with her baby. And here, I, mean, I don't know about here, in this particular masjid, some places have a place allocated for children especially, or for babies. You know, you cannot prevent the women from going to the masjid to go to get children or babies. The blameworthiness in terms of the parents is if they do not try to control their children. If you're going to come to the masjid with your children, try your best. Lay kalifullah nafsa illa wasa'ah. Try. Keep your child next to you, advise them how to behave. Some people come to the masjid with the children and just leave them. To run all around the masjid, cause havoc, chaos. This is not acceptable. It might actually even be sinful that you're bringing the children to distract the khushu of other people. If you've tried your best as a mother, as a father, to control your children and they're not being controlled, you're not blameworthy. There are also other children that might have medical issues, ADHD, you know, uh, hyperactive disorder, that they can't keep still. If that is the situation, if you're going to distract other people, if you could pray at home and it's going to destroy the salah of other people, it is better for the woman, please pray at home. But I'm not saying by this exclusively you shouldn't let children, but if you could pray at home, it's going to distract people, cause headache for people, then you should let them pray at home. But if it's not going to distract the people, and if the children are going to behave themselves, you shouldn't stop children from coming to the masjid. And even if it happens once, if it happens twice, we have to be tolerant. Why? The children will never learn the etiquette of the masjid except by what? Coming to the masjid. It's true. So if we just have an automatic band of beer once or twice, that's it. Khalas, yalla, ukhrid, barra. They'll never learn. We have to correct these children. These children are our children with love and mercy. But when you find a child misbehaving in the masjid, look how the Prophet ﷺ corrected the young person when he came to the gathering of the Prophet. ﷺ. He just stuck his hand in the food, eating hair, there, everywhere. The Prophet ﷺ corrected him gently. Ya Ghulam, Samillah, say Bismillah. Eat from that which is near, eat with your right hand and from that which is near to you. So we have to have a balance there. If you know for definite your child is uncontrollable, you cannot control that child. If you can pray at home, please pray at home. If you bring your child, try to control your child, advise your child. Don't just bring them and leave them and let them run around the masjid. And at the same time, for us that witness those things, we should be forbearing. If we find a child misbehaving, don't give the parents dirty looks. Don't hit the child. Don't scold the child too harshly. Speak to them very kindly. Because sometimes, when you see a parent speaking to his child kindly, he's trying to implement the sunnah. But sometimes, even though you're advising your child, the looks that people give you, it's like, you know what, you need to whip that child. And then you whip the child, they're still looking at you, you need to break a bone. You know, so we should be patient, forbearing. If the children misbehaving, advise them kindly. But for parents, please, if you cannot control the children, maybe it's better not to bring them.